It's a Fat Man and Circuit Girl with uh, Circuit Girl Jerry Ellsworth in the margins today because uh, she's busy doing social things. And we'll explain to you uh, some other time what a social thing is. Because uh, I know as scientists, most of us don't really have time to do uh, anything with people. But someday, someday, when we learn that one trick, we will, dare I say it, rule the world. Uh, I gotta show you an idea, and it's probably not a very good idea, but I'm very excited about it. The floppy disk recorder that Jerry made has gotten a certain amount of popularity on the internet, and I wanted to make mine, but I blew up my floppy drive while I was out in San Diego, and I thought, well, what can I use instead of a floppy drive that's my own twist on it that isn't just completely copying what Jerry did. Do you know what it is? Can you identify this? Come on kiddos. I'm, I'm waiting while the chat room decides what it is. This is a hard drive. Each one of those layers is covered with ferrous oxide and this works just like your old hard drives used to. It's called a Winchester drive and uh, they were built into these plastic cases so that they couldn't get any air on them. Um, I believe that they were kept in a vacuum, uh, or at least a, a special atmosphere. And it had a handle on the top and a big glass dome over the top like the bat phone. And you'd carry this thing around by the handle and you'd drop it into its special hole and twist the thing and the heads would come in and it was just awesome! Uh, and so my idea is to put this on a record player <laughs> and put like, uh, I want to use a guitar pickup, you know, something, something really nasty as an electromagnet to, to record and then put another magnet as a playback head, you know, another pickup over here. Or I could just use tape drive pickups, but uh, have one of them here, one of them here and movable. And then also an erase head that I could move around. So like three big arms over the whole thing. <laughs> And as it's spinning, the record head will lay down uh, the signal. The platter will spin and carry the signal over to the playback head. Boom. And then the erase head will erase it however much I want it to erase it. Um, and then I can feed new signal in. I can feed this signal uh, back into the original signal for... Uh, a controlled loop and uh, uh, what other factors might happen on this it might just be that this recording substrate doesn't work anymore because that's what the guy who sold it to me said he said once this stuff touches air it's no good but I have a feeling that it's good enough for what I want it to do and I do want it to have that vintage sound I don't think that it has any choice but to have that vintage sound Oh yeah, and I thought what would be kind of classy is if I mounted it the way that Les Paul uh, mounted his turntable. Uh, he used a Cadillac flywheel for a turntable. <laughs> and I bet that could hold it up. <laughs>